Hi everybody, welcome back to the Bolt Hole Biker. Well, autumn's getting a bit long in the tooth and I think you could probably say that winter's just about with us now, which means that they start throwing salt on the roads. And I understand that for a lot of people, that's it, riding season over for the year and tuck the bike up and then it will come out pristine in the spring, absolutely fine. For me, and I know a lot of other people, I like to try and ride all year round. I don't like riding in the ice and the snow, but if it's raining and a bit cold, that doesn't bother me at all. I like to keep the fun going throughout the year if I can. But I don't want my bikes getting ruined and I definitely don't want them going rusty. So what I've pulled out today are my two absolute key pieces of winter weather kit to keep my bikes pristine. And I have ridden my bikes throughout the year and I don't have any rust on any of them. Not that I'm aware of anyway. In my opinion, there's three key things that you can do to keep your bikes pristine if you're riding them throughout the winter on the gritty, salty roads. And that is number one, make sure that they're protected against the, the corrosion in the first place by using a product like ACF 50, which I'll go in more detail about in a minute. Number two, after you've been out riding on the salty roads, it doesn't have to take a long time, but just rinse your bike off with cold water just to get the salt off. And then thirdly, make sure that you dry your bike. Then you're not leaving any moisture sat on the bike. So you're completely eliminating as much as possible the possibility of there being any corrosion. And to do that, I use one of these um, dryers. You can get proper motorbike dryers that I'm sure they're brilliant. They're about 130, 140 quid. This is just a cheap version. It's just a, a sort of cheap Chinese pet dryer that I bought off of Amazon, I think. It cost me about 60, 70 quid, something like that. And it's been absolutely brilliant. I've had it for a few years and it enables me to completely dry my bike once it's been washed. And I'm not talking about the bodywork, no, you know, that's easy. It's the bits inside that you can't get to with a, with a chamois or a towel that you need drying. They're the bits where the water's just going to sit and eat away at your bike. Well, this eliminates that because you can force the water out. They're, they're really good. I can highly recommend getting a, a motorbike dryer or a pet dryer equivalent to dry your bike after you've been out in the, um, in the wet winter weather. If you don't know about ACF 50, then I'll give you an idea of what it is. It's an anti-corrosion formula that was developed for the aviation and aerospace industries. And it's a formula that kills existing corrosion cells. This is off of their website and prevents new corrosion forming. I mean, it's used on airplanes, it's used on um, American aircraft carriers. It's really, really good stuff. This is stuff that works. It's worth putting on your bike. You can use it all over the electrics, you can put it on your plastics, over the only places that you can't really use it are for obvious reasons on your brakes, on your tires, I wouldn't suggest using it on your, your foot pegs. Um, you, you know, bit, if you apply a bit of common sense you can use it on any other bit of your bike. It can go over bodywork, it can go over your wheels, it can go over your engine parts, electrics, underneath your seat area, so that the whole bike is protected. And once it's been treated, that treatment lasts for a year. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Now, there are companies that you can go to who will will apply ACF 50 for you. I, the first time I got it done, I, I actually got it done by a company called All Year Biker. And they're online, I think it's allyearbiker.co.uk. They've got, it's franchises and they've, they've got coverage over the whole of the UK. So there will be one near you, unless you live really, really out in the sticks, where you can take your bike, they'll give it a professional clean, with um, like a foam clean. I mean, honestly, my bike came back to me cleaner than, I think it was cleaner than when I bought it brand new. Um, they'll clean the bike and then they will treat it with ACF 50. So that's that's protected for a year then. I mean, there are certain areas where you do need to top it up. That's why I use the, the spray can, the, the rattle cans for topping up on your header pipes and things like that, where the exhaust gets really, really hot 
it, it does burn off eventually, but it still gives you more protection than not having it treated. And you can just reapply it really easily with a rattle can. But it's something that isn't difficult to do yourself. Basically, you need to clean your bike, really clean it well, give it its kind of, you know, its, its birthday clean. You don't want to spray ACF 50 onto grime, you want to spray it onto metal. So you need to get the, the metal as clean as you possibly can. Remove as many of the panels on your bike as you can that are hiding metal parts. So take belly pans off, um, take uh, chain guards off, etc, etc, just to expose as much of the bike as possible. And then it is basically, once the bike is completely clean and dry, it's basically just sprayed on. And for the first time this year, I've bought a... Um, proper spray can and you know a couple of litres of the stuff because I'm just going to do all the bikes in in a one um, but in previous years I've just used these aerosol cans and gone over the bike and it's been absolutely fine so I'll take you through the process of how to prepare your bike and how to apply ACF 50 on one of my bikes so if that interests you then stay tuned the fixings that came out of the plastics I put them in a little tray and give them all a, a little bath of um, ACF 50 so that when they go back in they're fully protected as well always a good idea keeping all your bolts in order as well and the tools that you need to put them back in again with close to hand and with them don't forget to give your chain a really good clean I haven't started this one yet but don't re-lube your chain until you've sprayed your ACF 50 because you want the ACF, the ACF 50 to actually engage the metal on the, ch on the chain to prevent rusting. Then you can lube over the top of that. I use muck off chain cleaner normally. Seems to do the job pretty well. The really key areas, in my opinion anyway, that you want to get as clean as you possibly can, just has to be this one, once a year, are the bits right behind the front wheel, right in front of the back wheel, and the underside of the bike. The bits where all the road salt and crud and crap gets thrown up onto that you don't normally get to see that often. You know, it's all well and good keeping your bodywork clean. That's fine, but that's up in the air. The stuff that's really getting the abuse is down on the underside of the bike, and that's where a lot of the exposed metal is as well. I mean, your, your body works painted or it's plastic, whereas the underside of your bike has got a lot of the metal parts that you want to prevent getting rusty. Okay, this video has run over the course of about a week so far because I've stripped the bike, and then I've been waiting for a day when I could um, get the ACF 50 sprayed onto it. It's been really bad weather we've had two storms um, and then when I've been getting home from work it's been too dark so it's lunchtime I've come back from work so I'm gonna quickly get this sprayed up all I'm gonna do now I've taken the seats off I've taken all the belly pan off the uh, chain guard any other sort of plastic panels that are covering the metal parts have, have been removed all I'm gonna do now is use a sheet just an old sheet to cover the wheels and the brake parts so that they're not going to get affected by the spray and then I'm going to get a, uh, a pop spray in the gun and get it sprayed over the whole bike including in the under seat area, all over the electrics everywhere, I might take these rubber parts out actually they can come out, don't need it on those and then when that dries, that's it protected
Right, I'm gonna get some OCF 50 into a gun. Ninety-five percent of the formulation of ACF 50 is active ingredient, so it's not like it's mixed with, you know, something like water or spirit or something like that as a carrier. Virtually everything in there is is ACF 50. Well, it's all ACF 50, but it's all virtually um, active ingredient. So a little bit goes a long way. And if there's any bits on the bike that I've covered, like the fork stanchions, that I want to get some on, I can wipe it on with a cloth or put it on with a um, with the rattle can. This is just to get the bulk of the bike. First time I've used this gun. Get a bit of air. There we go. And that's it basically. Now I might have put a bit too much on there because normally, I'd, normally I've done it with a rattle cam before and this comes out a hell of a lot faster so we'll see what it dries like. But if there's any excess I can just wipe it off, it's not a problem. Um, so essentially once that dries, I'm going to put it back in the garage now, let it dry, go back to work. Um, that's completely protected now, that ain't rusting. I'll start recording again later once I'm back. And so believe it or not, another day goes by. When I got back from work the other day, it was just too late and too dark for me to do anything on the bike. So anyway, that's the run up to Christmas for you. But when I'd got back, the ACF 50 had dried on the bike. Uh, it had left a bit of a film on it. I think I went a bit heavy. So I've given it a wipe off just with a, um, a microfiber cloth and just taken the sort of top, the, the top shiny part of the residue off. And it's absolutely spot on now. So that's the bike, in my opinion, 100% ready for me to ride out on the salty roads and in the rain, in the winter weather, whatever, nothing's going to touch this bike now. Um, and that will see it right through the winter. I may, with the rattle can, just sort of touch a bit onto the exhaust headers if they need it. Depends how much I get to ride during the winter. But um, it's a little bit of effort but not too much effort and it's quite an enjoyable thing to do and it's you know it sort of gets you a bit intimate with your bike 
you know, just to see if there's any bits that, that you might have missed that need tightening up or anything like that. And it gives you 100% complete confidence that your bike's going to be rust, rust free at the end of the winter. So no reason to not ride in the winter, certainly not for me anyway. Anyway, sorry that this video has been recorded over multiple days, but that's just the way it's had to be. Um, I hope it's been useful anyway and enjoyable and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. I just can't wait to get out riding now. I should just add, because I did the uh, spraying in a, a bit of a rush the other day and um, I didn't have a mask with me, you will have noticed that I was in a cloud of ACF 50, which I wouldn't normally do, I have to be honest, but on the plus side, at least I'm not going to have rusty lungs. <laughs>